Uh, Lindsay, thanks for your time. Thanks for joining us, as always. Um, first of all, how do you reflect on the victory at Lee last week and uh, 54 points to nil in the end? How do you reflect on the performance? Yeah, it was a really good performance from us. Um, we haven't been travelling that well so far this, this season. It's taken us a while to get going, as it did at the weekend. Um, and Lee were a great team. You know, the, the score probably doesn't reflect the, their performance and uh, how athletic and how well drilled they are. Um, but yeah, we got we got the win and, and we put in some 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 good uh, good performances from individuals and, and as a team. So I was really pleased with what we did. Yeah. And that second half performance seemed really strong. I guess that's been quite a feature of the Valkyrie this season. How pleasing is that? Yeah, it is, and it's you know it's it's good to have a second half performance, but we're trying you know we're trying to start the game like that, so that's what we're aiming for, and you know we're trying to do a few bits in training to try and uh, do that this weekend against Warrington. What can we expect from Warrington? I know they came up last year, um, came up from uh, Group Two last year, and they've started pretty well. Obviously, got the draw with uh, Wigan in round one, so yeah, what can we expect from them this weekend? That's it. They're they're you know they've been really well invested in this this year of, of Warrington, and they've recruited uh, some good players. Um, they played St Ellen's at the weekend, and I think the first half they were you know they were literally neck and neck. So that shows where Warrington are and how they're developing. Um, so yeah, so you know they're an athletic side, they're well drilled, and um, yeah, we're we're looking forward to a big challenge. Yeah, uh, potentially couple of girls back this week in Sade and Grace perhaps from injury? Yes, yeah, Sade's been out for quite a while and uh, you know hopefully she'll get some, some good minutes this, this week. She's uh, chomping at the bit to get going um, and yeah Grace coming back she's had a couple of niggles but um, she'll, she'll be fit for the weekend so that's great for us. How much of a boost is it to have Sade back in and obviously you've been playing with one half back really haven't you so yeah. if she can get back to full fitness she might be able to add something uh, really strong to the side. You know she's a, she's a great she's a great player. She's played you know touch rugby for New Zealand, so that shows you know what quality she's got, especially in offence. Um, but she's just dying to be out there with the girls. You know she's done a long pre-season with them. They're all a tight knit bunch, and I think everybody in the whole club is looking forward to seeing Zed, Zed take the, the pitch this weekend. Just final word. Obviously, you're going straight to Uganda after the game. I know the donations have been flooding in from the the Knights and the Valkyrie fans. You must be really appreciative of that. Oh, massively, yeah. You know, me and the girls are really looking forward to um, to the game on Sunday. But then uh, straight away, we're you know getting our bags and heading down to Heathrow. So it's it's going to be a, an action-packed weekend. But yeah, the the donations from the the community in York and especially the, the local community clubs has been fantastic. And you know, for us to be able to literally transport it from York straight to the ground to the rugby pitches in Uganda is is brilliant. And that's what it's about. And um, yeah, hopefully there'll be loads of pictures sent back and and people can see their their stuff out there being used and put to good use. Um, in this up, up and culmination.